Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Rat Collectors. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my weird habits when it comes to buying games or collecting games. It's just something that I find, I talk with friends and family about, you know, collecting video games and how I go about doing it and why I go for a certain system over another. It's, it's a funny little, you know, OCD type of thing. It's, I buy games solely that are based off of a console. So like, for instance, Metal Gear Solid was a game that I played and one of my favorite games of all time. I'm going to buy every game that's after that for Metal Gear Solid on the PlayStation. Just because I bought it on the PlayStation 1 originally, Metal, PlayStation 2 was Metal Gear Solid in 3. You know, I just like to buy a continuous strand or continuous set of games on a said platform. So Sony being that platform, I bought all the Metal Gears for that platform. Same could be said for the Final Fantasy series. Final Fantasy VII was one of the first RPGs that I played on the system. I'm going to grab as many of the Final Fantasy games as I can on that said PlayStation console. Grand Theft Auto is another fine example of me buying it solely for a certain platform and continuing every game on that said platform. I ended up getting the 360 version of Grand Theft Auto V and I ended up having to trade it in and getting the PS3 version mainly because a bunch of friends convinced me to play online with them and on the PS3 was a bunch of friends that were playing so I decided to grab that game on the PS3 and trade in the Xbox 360 version. I know it's weird but it is that's how I go and you know unfortunately when Shenmue comes out Shenmue 3 and it does, and it's gonna come out. I'm gonna grab it probably for the Xbox if it does actually get ported to the Xbox One. I hope so, or the HD composition of games. I want them on the 360 or the Xbox One just because Shenmue 2 was ported to the Xbox originally. I want everything that's connected to that franchise on a said console. I know it's weird. It's, you know, something that for a friends actually laugh at me because he goes, why would you, why do you care? Or why don't you just grab it for a, a certain platform over the other? I just, that's how I am. One example of the game that actually, you know, I love the franchise, but this game actually sticks out to me and it bothers me to actually have this in the collection. I, I love Arkham City, don't get me wrong. I have it on the PSN, but this game sticks out like a sore thumb. If I'm gonna grab any Batman games, it's going to be on the PlayStation just because I have one, the more of the games on the PlayStation, but two, I assume Batman to PlayStation. That's just how it is. I do love the game. I have it on the 360. I have it on the PSN as well, but I just, I, I'm going to grab it on the PlayStation. Just, just like I said, my OCD, it bothers me when I have certain games on certain platforms and certain games on other platforms. If I'm going to grab a Halo and it's going to be on the PlayStation, which won't ever happen. If I would grab it on the PlayStation and the Xbox, that PlayStation 1 just would bother me. Or Uncharted, same thing. If it were going to be on the 360 or the Xbox One, I would grab the, the, the Uncharted on the PlayStations over the Xbox. Just because it's just continuously. I love to see continuously on the shelves. I like to have my games in a certain way. I know it's weird, and then many of you probably comment down below, like, what kind of weirdo this guy is. But if you guys have any of that, you know, weird habits, collecting habits, you know, buying habits, a way of going about buying games for your collection, or even displaying the games, let me know in the comments down below. Thanks, guys.